You've been studying and reporting on the airline industry for over a decade. So let's start at the beginning. How did the airline industry become what it is today? Well, it all starts in 1978 with deregulation. Nine out of 10 people seem to think that Ronald Reagan deregulated the industry. It actually came from the left. And the idea was going to be that once the government got out of the business of scheduling flights and, and setting fares, that the free market would just make things great. Just about all of the promises of deregulation <clears throat> have been broken, starting with the fact that we have a more consolidated industry than we ever had. And I think that's very relevant to everything that's going on here. I testified in Congress, I think, six or seven times against mergers. Every single merger was rubber stamped. And many of us 10, 12, 15 years ago were saying we're approaching the too big to fail level with the airlines as we as we are with banks. Well, we're past that. That argument is over. And I keep saying that it's not just that they're too big to fail. They're too big to care.